Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from Unkert Education here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Shotcut on a Chromebook. So the first thing we want to do is install the Linux development environment. So I'm going to go over here to my launcher and I'm going to click on that and I'm going to type in settings. And you'll see settings will pop up, so I'll open up my settings. And on the left hand side, I'll go all the way down to about Chrome OS. And right here I see Linux development environment. I'm going to click on Setup, and then this Linux Development Wizard will come on up. I'll click Next. It's going to give me a username, which I believe is based off your email and a recommended disk size. Now, the username, I think, is pretty much set in stone once you set it, so if you don't like it, change it now. Uh, the disk size you can change at a later point. Uh, you could change it now as well. Just click on Custom and move the slider around. But I'm going to leave it at recommended and then click install. Now this is going to take a few moments, so I'll let that run through and then I'll come on back. Okay, once the Linux development environment has gone ahead and installed, uh, this terminal will pop up. Now I'm going to maximize the terminal here and just make my font a little bit larger. And I want to make sure everything is up to date. So I'm going to type sudo apt update, spell it right, and sudo apt upgrade and those ands are ampersands those are the shift and seven key and i'm going to do a dash y flag to answer yes to any additional space it takes for the upgrade i'm going to hit enter and let that run through and that's going to take a few moments so i'll come on back once that's done okay once that's gone ahead and updated i'm just going to now clear everything out by typing clear and hitting enter and we want to install shotcut so we can do that by typing sudo apt install and then shotcut and hitting enter and this is going to take 561 megabytes of space, so you want to make sure you have enough space. I'm going to say yes and hit enter, and that's going to run through and take a few moments. So I'm going to let that run through and I'll come on back. Okay, that's gone ahead and run through. So let's go down here to my launcher. And if I go on down to my Linux apps here, you'll see I have this icon for Shotcut. I'm going to click on that to open it. And if I'm using Shotcut a lot, I will right click here and pin this to the taskbar. Okay, so that's going to take a moment or two to open on up. And here we go, that opened up fairly quickly. And so here we've got, we got Shotcut installed. Now let's get a video that we can start editing with Shotcut. Okay, so first I'm going to name the project. I'm going to say how to install Shotcut. It's almost like I'm making this video as I'm making this video. It's crazy. We'll click start start here and now we'll click uh, open file and well let's see what we have we have to go around it and I don't have the video I just recorded in the Linux file system so let's click cancel and let's go do that so let's go here and we'll go to my downloads which is where I had my screen recording and this is the one that I want to move so I want to copy this and I'll just copy this into uh, my Linux files here. I'll just paste it in here. Okay, so now I've pasted this in. So let me go down here. We'll go back to open file and we'll go to T Unkert and we see we have the video here. Uh, we also have this folder that was created called videos when we installed Shotcut. So I'm going to open this file here. Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from Unkert Education. And I'll here. just pause it. And you'll see this is the recording of when I started to record this video. Okay, so now if I want to bring it down to my timeline, I'll go down here and click plus. And here we go. It's now down to my timeline and I can start to edit it. So I can move this about here and I can clip off extra portions. So if I want to cut off this extra portion, I'll cut that portion highlight this here, hit the backspace. Um, I can go to the beginning if I want to shorten the amount here and I'll drag this all the way here um, to the start of the video and then I can expand it. And you can see there's quiet parts where I was recording where it was downloading uh, the Debian Linux environment or where I was installing Shotcut. I can cut those out. Um, in fact, let's let's start this. We'll we'll start previewing. Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from Unkert Education here. Okay, so it pretty much starts right at the beginning of the video, but there may be a portion here. I could go right here. Let's As recommended, and then click install. 
Now this is going to take a few moments, so I'll let that run through and then I'll come on back. Okay, so right now I'm going to pause it and then I'm going to use this tool here and cut it here. And I'll drag this over here and play it from about here. And, um, you know, I may want to stop it again and then cut it. And then I'll hit the backspace here. And then I can, you know, expand this out a little bit. And I can start to drag this. Um, drag this here. And when I get closer, and you notice as I'm recording this, I'm recording this and filming at the or, and using Shotcut at the same time, so these are a little intensive programs, so you see some rendering issues there, um, just because I'm running both. But then I can overlay this here, and then I got a transition that it, it works in, and I'll, of course, work on that. Let me bring back my, um, yeah, there we go. Bring it back here, and bring it back up to close to the transition, and we'll just kind of play it, see what it looks like. Come on back. Okay, once the and you know that transition again ahead. the rendering was because I'm recording and that kind of stuff but you got shotcut installed play with it have fun with it um, you can edit your videos on a Chromebook with it pretty sweet stuff if you like this video and you haven't liked it and subscribed please do so and I hope to see you in the next one